Use this clicker every time you train your cat and you will feel like you're cheating. It's going to feel like cheating because despite you've tried to teach your cat things before, you've struggled. And using the clicker, you're going to be able to teach one trick after another with minimal effort. So minimal effort that you will be wondering, why didn't I use a clicker before? If you want to train your cat and you don't know where to start, join our short and free clicker training bootcamp. It's only 10 days, 10 minutes a day, and you will learn all the basics to get started with clicker training. Look for the link below in the pinned comments. One of the first questions that everybody faces when they start thinking about training a cat is, should I get a clicker? And I understand it. Taking care of a cat, it's a lot more expensive than we originally anticipated. Can you train a cat without a clicker? Absolutely. The clicker only serves as a marker. It's going to help you tell your cat exactly when they're doing the behavior that it's going to get them treats. While the clicker sound is unique and consistent, there are words like yes or good that can also work. I even heard from people using mouth noises that I'm not going to try to repeat or snapping the fingers to mark the behavior. The clicker often reigns superior to any other marker. It's sound, it's unique, unchanging, and devoid of any emotional fluctuation. If the chosen word is consistent and clear, it can in theory replace the clicker. However, this requires a higher level of awareness from the trainer. Also, if you use a word that can be found in day-to-day -day conversations, your cat might get confused and being like, they said yes, am I getting a treat? For what? If you want your cat to stand in two legs and you say good as your cat is raising and then falling and then licking their paw, your cat will have no idea why you said good. Because so many things happen during the time that you're saying good or good girl. It's so long. And if your cat is not very clearly understanding what behavior is triggering the click and the reward, it's going to be more difficult for them to repeat that behavior in the future. The beauty of using a clicker is that you can put all your energy in teaching your cat the trick. And you can relieve yourself from having to crack a sound that's consistent, unique, and precise every single time. Just as a reminder, the clicker has to be charged for it to work. If you don't know how to charge the clicker, consider pausing this video and watching this one instead. Don't worry, I'll be here waiting for you when you're ready to come back. If I convinced you that you need a clicker, you might be wondering now, what makes a clicker a good clicker? There are three things that I want my clickers to have. A unique, distinctive, and consistent sound that cannot be found anywhere outside the training session. A ring so that it stays in my hand even if I need to grab treats or do something with my hands. And finally, that it has a soft, and gentle sound because I'm going to be doing most of the training session indoors and I don't want to overwhelm the cat with a very loud noise. Consider for a second that dogs can hear twice as much as humans and cats can hear twice as much as dogs. Most of the clickers in the market are designed for dogs outdoors and we're training a cat indoors. Try to keep it quiet. In the description below, you will find the link of our clicker. If you don't want to get this particular clicker, any other clicker, it's going to be better than using a word or a mouth sound.